Welcome back, everybody, to the Kalispell Warhawks Dynasty. We're in New Mexico this week, here in Week 7, as the Warhawks begin their second half of the season at 3-3 three three against the 3-2 New Mexico Lobos. Kalispell already 2-0 in conference as they are coming off their most exciting win in team history, scoring 38 points last week. Today they're up against a team they have not fared well against over the first two years of this series. New Mexico enters with the second best rushing offense in all of college football, and we'll see that up first as Keith Britton sends us off here in week seven. Into the end zone and a knee taken. So New Mexico still a very good rushing team, but their two best playmakers graduated last year, quarterback Lamar Jordan, who is replaced by Jawan Lawson, who gets free on first down, a block thrown on Garner as Frazier catches up to him but it's a 39-yard run out the gate. Jawan Lawson, a very speedy quarterback. I mentioned at the end of last episode about how Kelly John Charles could be an X-Factor in this game, keeping him around the line. He is on this play as Lawson is taken down by James Watson. Kalispell just played one of their best defensive games ever last week, and here's a good tackle made by Marcus Calhoun. No gain, now a third and long for Lawson. Could see the first pass of the day. Here is Lawson as he fires on the outside. That is caught. Umblins falls with a 20-yard reception. Kelly John Charles the closest to it as he was not in good position to defend this pass. Already in the red zone. Lobos first down. Here is Mike Majette who is thrown down by Quinton Dunn. Majette replaces the dynamic Terion Gibson from last year. Third and long now for Lawson. Plenty of time. And now trying to buy some more. He's throwing end zone. It's nearly picked through the hands of Marcus Calhoun. So a good opening possession. The Lobos do hit a field goal as we have an upset this week in the Big 12. The Longhorns win this year in the Red River rivalry, upsetting the top 10 Sooners. So here is the Marquise Walker-led Kalispell offense. Walker coming off a five touchdown performance. A record-setting day for the Kalispell offense, their most points ever with 38, and of course the five touchdown throws, none better than that strike to Ja'Cory Day who racked in two. Now we're against a pretty tough Lobo defense this week on the road as the Warhawks get going on the ground and Hawthorne is laid out after a three-yard gain. In last year's meeting, the Lobos were number 20 in the nation as they won that game and Walker here misses Sonny Archer. Last year's game, though, was a 42-24 loss for Kalispell. Third down now, and Walker misses for the second straight time. Have not seen that kind of inaccuracy from him in a while. Lobos get the ball, already up three, and Lawson calling read option now. Up the middle he goes, and falling forward through a tackle of Garner, he picks up 16. Lawson already giving this defense plenty of problems as Majette works to the outside and is taken down. That's Garner once again. Third down now for the Lobos. Everybody close for Kalispell. A fake. And Lawson must be confused. He's taken down by Watson. Something did not work right on that play. Kalispell catching a break as it remains 3-0. And now they go to the ground and Roscoe Sheridan gets the call. Eventually down after a seven yard gain. Hawthorne this year, 295, Sheridan 234 on the ground. Now a mid screen, this is Ja'Cory Day, the dynamic playmaker, who has five touchdown receptions this year. After a first down by Day, Sammy gets the call and has about six yards on this play. That was a good job of the linebacker throwing away that block, but he missed the tackle on Sammy. Going back to Sheridan now on second down as they pick up four more. Three wide here on second down. Hawthorne the back against the Blitz. Walker down the middle. That is Rashawn Brooks who hauls in a catch for about 10 yards. Now they bring Ja'Cory Day in motion. Jet sweep. But a linebacker comes through cleanly and tracks him down. Just a one yard gain. Got to get the ball in his hands one way or another. Now a screen here for Hawthorne as he looks to break it outside and is taken down. A block was missed. So third down, Warhawks. Safety creeping down, here comes the rush. Walker, wide open, Rashad Williams. And brought down around the 20. Rashad now with 321 yards on the year. 
First and 10 read option, covered perfectly. A loss of three now from Marquise. I mean, look at the offense. This defense defends every day in practice. No surprise there. Now Walker scrambling outside on second down, taking a shot, and Ja'Cory Day lays out for six. A spectacular catch in the end zone as Marquise makes a perfect throw on the move. But the full extension by Ja'Cory Day. Easily one of the top touchdowns in Kalispell history. Let's watch it from this angle. Ja'Cory Day does it again. Seven touchdowns now total for him in his freshman season. Big upset this week by Arkansas State as they stay unbeaten and knock the Buckeyes off at number two. 7-3 Kalispell as we return to New Mexico and here's Lawson swinging one out to Davis. What a great job there by Calhoun as he's again right place, right time. Second and long, Lawson to Majette, breaking outside, outrunning Frazier to the 30, and a strong gain of nine. Needing four this time. Frazier the high safety, Lawson taking off, and wrapped up from behind, taken down by Brock Schultz, and the first down is denied. Schultz continuing to make the most plays along that D-line. Back to the Kalispell offense now. Walker outside and Williams trying to turn up field. Ends up with only a gain of four. Walker six for six since those two misses. Now on third and short, the give to Sheridan as he plows ahead up the middle to get the conversion. Now Sammy back in, blitz on first down. Pass out to Hawthorne. Into Lobo territory, spinning down near a first down. Whitfield joins Williams on the right side. Here's Walker rolling out, and he'll keep this one to the sideline. Heads out of bounds, gain of nine. Warhawks again on the move, split shotgun now. Faking to Sammy, running triple option, and wrapped up. Walker taken down, good angle there taken by the corner to eliminate the pitch. Second down and long, Kendall Caldwell checks in. Pressure getting to Walker as he floats it deep and it's intercepted. Small on the pick, across the 40, into Kalispell territory, and he's in the clear, 10-5, touchdown. It's a pick six and a huge defensive swing. Kalispell looked in control of this game for the time being. Let's take a second look. You can see the blitz, and what Kalispell likes to do a lot against the blitz is counter it deep. Only this time, the throw wasn't where it needed to be, and the coverage was perfect. And here's a look at our next week's opponent, Air Force, as they have lost today to Nevada, and they have fallen to 3-2. and two. So suddenly, 10-7 New Mexico as Ja'Cory Day fields the kick, breaks outside, good move, and is looking for the corner across the 40, taken out of bounds. Ja'Cory now gets a breather as Troy Evans is in the game. Give, though, going to Sammy Hawthorne. Good run here as he picks up four. Third down, Kalispell, Archer back in the slot. Walker, again off his spot, now sets his feet, there's Archer! Breaking free and getting down to the Lobo 30. Sonny having another good season. Lobo's in press and they bring some pressure. Right up the middle, Walker throws incomplete. And he is shaken up on the play. Receivers on the outside couldn't get off the press. Walker waits too long and now JR Battle is in at quarterback as he hands off to his roommate Ja'Cory Day and that's a one yard pickup. Again looking close to breaking one of these big. Early indication here with Walker looks like he might miss some of this game but it's not serious. Third and nine, Williams with the catch and that is a gain of six. So this could be a big day for JR Battle against a tough opponent to show what he can do. This offense was already having a pretty good day minus the pick six. Kalispell adds three, now we have a 10-10 game as the Lobos will try and get some points before the half. Lawson in the full house as they'll run triple option, flip to Majette, who breaks a tackle of Garner, keeps his footing into Warhawk territory. That's 22 yards. We can't afford to give up those extra yards against a team like this. Now Lawson a draw up the middle as he picks up another four yards. Inside two minutes now, third down. Needing four, Lawson, good protection, taking off. 
and picks up the first down, sprinting to the 20. Taken out of bounds finally after a 25-yard run. Lobos driving with ease, second down, Lawson. Again, well protected out to Umblint. And that is a first down, making it goal to go. Kalispell was tough in the red zone last week. Now on first and goal, it's an option. And Lawson breaks the plane. Touchdown, Lobos. It is now New Mexico who has the touchdown advantage as we are approaching halftime. 17-10 as JR Battle begins this possession in the two-minute drill. Battle off the mark here on the throw to Rashad Williams. Maybe some nerves here. He wasn't expecting to enter the game, but the Warhawks need him. Third and ten as they let the clock run down a bit. No one open. Battle throws this away. A little glimpse of the arm strength there off his back foot. But this game is going to be going to halftime, it looks like. A run here to Majet. Good tackle made by Chris Smith. And that is it for the first half. Kalispell was in control of this game until the pick six. After that, New Mexico took full control. Second half up next. Kalispell with a two-game winning streak, hoping to make it three. They're down seven right now to the Lobos and have JR Battle, the redshirt freshman, in at quarterback. Give here to Sammy Hawthorne who breaks a tackle and picks up seven. Maybe they'll lean more on the ground game with the inexperienced Battle. Here on second down, JR on the move to Sheridan who lost some ground and loses five on the play. Now it's a third and eight. Three wide in the game, Battle from the pocket. Fires complete, that's Sonny Archer. Good protection, good route, good throw. And this offense now has to structure itself differently. Battle is a pure pocket passer. And now the pocket collapses and he throws incomplete. Kalispa does not have a lot of time to adapt here. Second and 10, and the pressure there again. Battle is sacked. It looked like he wanted to go deep and he has a big arm, but he needs the time to use it. Third and long, they want the screen out to Sammy as he breaks a tackle. Now a spin back inside, a lot of effort there to still lose one. Not a great possession. So this is definitely putting some extra pressure on the defense as we're already down seven and Lawson getting past Davenport, then met by Garner. But this offense is now trying to adapt. They're already trailing against the high power rushing attack. This is no easy task, especially with Majette breaking to the outside. Smith giving chase, trips him up. 31 yards for number 31. Kelly John Charles near the line, and here he comes. Lawson, met by John Charles, and sacked. I said the true freshman had to make an impact today, and that's one way to get it done as the Lobos lose a few on the play, not a huge loss. But here's third and long, and a screen for Davis as he looks to break to the outside and is taken down by Chris Smith, who is shaken up on the play. This will be a 43-44 yard try here from left hash as the kicker, Tyler Reese, knocks this through and now we're in a two possession game. JR battle out again as Sammy Hawthorne gets nothing here off tackle. This offense really needs some help from that ground game. Third down for battle as he fires complete to Rashad Williams sitting down right at the sticks for a gain of 11. 22 throws, 18 rushes on the day as battle again for Rashad Williams, just sitting down right at the sticks. Getting these quick hits for a first down. Three wide now of split backs as battle finding Archer now as he gets good protection, gain of nine. Perhaps battle now finding that rhythm. First down and Sheridan sweeps off tackle, has some space. Outrunning one, breaking a tackle down to the 20. 16 for Roscoe Sheridan. Making the most of his five carries so far, definitely deserves more. Sammy Hawthorne though back in as he sweeps to the opposite side and can't get to the edge as he is stopped after a three yard gain. Sheridan returns on second down, blitz is sent. Battle lobbing, there's Whitfield who reaches up and gets down inside the 15, five yards. A third and short now, Hawthorne the back, 
And the Warhawks will throw. Battle down the middle. Touchdown. JR battle to Rashad Williams as they connected three times on this possession. And maybe that's what Battle needed to find his rhythm. We always hear about tight ends being quarterback's best friend. Sure looked like it on this possession. Unfortunately, couldn't get his roommate Ja'Cory Day involved. 22-17 now as the Lobos take over. Lawson sheds a tackle, but James Watson is there. Two yards. Lawson near 100 on the ground as they'll run an option. He flips it. That's a loose football recovered, though, by Peterson. They caught a break on this as Frazier took a good angle, but the Warhawks can't take the ball with them. Third and seven screen. Lawson throws this away. Pressure got there too quickly. Three and out. Look who has returned to begin the fourth quarter. Marquise Walker at quarterback immediately going to the air to Sonny Archer. Good throw, eight yard gain. Of course, Walker left last week's game, returned through five touchdowns. Now on third down, Roscoe Sheridan denied. A phenomenal hit to prevent the first down, but the Warhawks keep the offense out there. It's Sheridan outside, first down and more. Roscoe down inside the 30. Sheridan having one of his most efficient games. Now Brooks the motion man to give him the sweep. A good block and he picks up the first. Couldn't do that with Ja'Cory Day the first few times, but it works with Rashawn Brooks. Now Walker to the air on first down as he fires to the outside. That's Ja'Cory Day for a gain of 13. Goal to go, Kalispell, two tight ends. And Walker chased to his right. Outside the numbers, firing, touchdown! Sonny Archer, Walker does it again. Two touchdown passes from outside the pocket. Let's see if Archer gets a foot down. Left foot down, there it is. 24-20, Kalispell has taken the lead. Now it's New Mexico playing down four as Mike Majette runs for a gain of 11. Garner now the high safety. Lawson wants a screen. He's picked off. It's Cam Davenport. The Warhawks get their first turnover of the day. Cam with his second on the season, sixth in his Kalispell career. Now it's Kalispell taking control of this game. But the Lobos bring a blitz. Walker trying to escape, and he is taken down for a big loss of 10. A terrible way to begin the possession. Second and 20, Walker. Again pressured, but gets this to Ja'Cory Day as they regain eight yards, but still third and long. The crowd now getting behind the Lobo defense. Walker on third down, airing it out deep. Touchdown, Sonny Archer! A perfect throw from Walker. Just to show he can do it from the pocket as well. Archer breaks free up the seam, and the Warhawks lead by two scores. Once again, Marquise Walker returns from an injury and delivers. Now an 11-point game, and the Lobos running out of time as Lawson, over 100 now, as he picks up 16. But the Lobos got to work quick. In hurry up now, Lawson going to throw this. As he works outside, across his body, Gonzalez slips the tackle, picks up the first, and they'll save some time here. With 319 left, here's Lawson again back to the air, well protected as he runs. Through the middle of the defense, first down once again. There's 11. Clock now approaching three minutes. First down, here's a blitz now, it's picked up. Lawson running and won't escape as he is taken to the ground by Jared Merritt, his second sack on the season. 15 to go, Lawson screen for Davis. Rallying, the Warhawks are there and Calhoun makes the tackle, third and nine. Tick, 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 225 left to play. A draw now, Davis breaks a tackle and another and fights through contact to get the first. What a run by Keon Davis. 2.13 left, out to Griffin now. Turning up field, first down, out of bounds inside the 10 and shaken up. Kalispell is having trouble wrapping up on this drive. Now it's Majette, he shoves away one, that's a touchdown. 
A stiff form on Scott Green. And the Lobos have this to a one score game. It's not over. They'll now go for two to make it a three point game. Motion Man is Drennan as Lawson keeps. That's well blocked and a two point conversion. 31 28. The Lobos have all three timeouts if this fails. Minute 38 left. Here's the onside kick. And it's off of Warren and recovered by New Mexico. It bounces right off his fingertips. The Lobos keep the football. They're only down three. Lawson to wide open. Chamura. And that might be good enough for a first down. The Lobos not far from field goal range as this defense adjusts. There's a screen just over Lewis Towns. And Majette picks up five. That was so close to a Lewis Towns interception. Third down and one. And a give to Davis straight ahead, falling through the tackle. They got the first, and they've entered field goal range. On second down and seven, a loss in pass outside. Chamura taken down by Frazier, and they get the first again. Now the concern is allowing a touchdown on this drive. Lawson scrambling out has more daylight. And right near the sticks, taken down. 10 yard gain. Lobos hurry up, down to 36 seconds as they spike it. They still have one timeout left. Third down in inches, the box is stacked. Lawson faking, and taken down! Lewis Towns with the tackle. Good blitz call by Kalispell. And the Lobos will have to settle. Field goal to tie it. Kick is good. New Mexico comes back from down 11. And now we could be looking at potential overtime. How risky will Kalispell play this? They have a screen on first down. It's covered and Sheridan loses one. Kalispell looks content just letting this clock run. Maybe one more play. Sheridan running up the middle taken down and we are headed to overtime it looked like Kalispell was on their way to another win but a big touchdown by New Mexico an onside kick and a field goal have us continuing and the Warhawks lose the coin toss so they'll have the football first New Mexico has the chance to match starting at the 25 overtime underway Walker hands to Sheridan but good defense stopped after a three yard gain Two tight ends here in the shotgun. Walker on second and seven, has to check it down. Sheridan wrapped up. Perfect coverage by the Lobos. Now a key third and seven. Archer slot left, Walker down the middle, intercepted! McBride takes it away! And the Lobos now have the path to victory! It just takes a field goal. Ja'Cory Day, the intended receiver. Watch him take his route upfield. Not even contesting this. Still, it wasn't a good decision by Walker. And now New Mexico is trying to set up a field goal as the blitz gets home and Lawson loses six. Kalispell's got to play aggressive. They have nothing to lose. On second and 16, Lawson taking a shot deep. Knocked away, nearly picked by Davenport. Off his hands. That makes it third and 16. Another blitz and they counter with the screen. Majette gets a huge block, sheds a tackle, and down at the 20. Now New Mexico will bring out the field goal team. 37 yard try to win the game in overtime. And the kick is no good! He hooked it! Wide left, and this game is not over. He just hooked a 37-yard try. That's freshman kicker Tyler Reese. The Warhawks still have a chance. We now begin double overtime. New Mexico has the football. Lawson passing, picked off Otis Frazier. He's gonna race the other way. Taken down. But Kalispell can now win the game with the field goal. The roles have been reversed. Frazier comes down, shows blitz, then backs off right into the throwing window. Without him, that's a touchdown. Kalispell now takes over. Handoff to Sheridan, just going straight up the middle, gain of five. And here comes the field goal team. 
This is a 37-yard try, and the Warhawks have won the game! Keith Britton with the game-winning field goal. The Warhawks pull off one of the most thrilling wins in team history, and they've now achieved their team best fourth win on the season, and for the first time in team history, they are above 500 with their first three game winning streak. Unbelievable. We've never caught a break as big as that 37 yard missed field goal. We are lucky they do not have a very good kicker. A true freshman who is not ready for this moment. There were some bad mistakes in this game. The two interceptions of course. But we were able to overcome them. We got a big interception of our own in overtime. Marquise Walker able to help us out in the fourth quarter. Just a wild game. Four and three now as we take a look at recruiting. Not much to talk about for Kalispell this week. Just a lot of players kind of staying in first place except for Eric Crenshaw as Oregon is now increasing their lead for him. So he might be a player that we might have to stop pursuing, sadly. I want to get a great defensive tackle and they just keep going elsewhere. We did get some commits though for other schools as Montana quarterback Alfred Morris will be attending Wyoming, so we're definitely going to see him at some point. Judd Christensen from Duluth, Minnesota commits to Iowa State. And number one quarterback in the nation, Jesse Heikinen, will be going to UCLA in the Pac-12. Stay patient though, we do have plenty of commits that are in good position on the board. We are now 3-0 in conference. Boise State also unbeaten, we'll play them in a couple weeks. We get Air Force next, and I love how we got New Mexico and Air Force back to back. They're both great option offenses, and we can take what we learned from the first game and apply it right into the next against another option attack. Unfortunately, Chris Smith was hurt in this game, and he suffered a torn shoulder that will end his season. And we're already kind of thin at cornerback, so I have to consider taking the red shirt off of Malcolm Tyson potentially. Also, Jameel Butler is red shirted. We have four healthy corners right now. And looking for a fifth, I looked at Jay Page potentially. 5'11, 185, good coverage. However, we red shirted him this year, and I don't want to lose that year of eligibility. So I'm only going to take a red shirt off if another corner gets hurt. Dante Clark will now become a starter again. So we have the 3-2 Air Force Falcons next week. They are 0-2 in the conference, losing to San Diego State and Nevada. Arian Worthman is still the quarterback. Seven touchdown passes and two touchdown runs. Jake Lacoste now is their top tailback. Kind of a jack of all trades. Not supreme in any area, but has a pretty good skill set overall, I'd say. It is certainly another winnable game, but we have to tackle much better in this one. We got away with some really sloppy tackling today. However, we did get a victory, and it was nice to see some of JR Battle, who's a really good player, and I'm excited about him, but he just doesn't fit the offense right now because the offensive line can't let him reach his potential. Walker, by the way, now 15 touchdowns, 5 picks. And that's going to do it for this episode, everybody. An exciting one. Let me know what you thought down below in the comment section. Please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.